Uh, Mr. Hargett, I, I want to uh, uh, talk about some, some things that I, I think went, uh, uh, went right and some things that could go even, uh, even better. I know you've already gotten an earful about things folks uh, don't, uh, uh, don't like and we, they don't think we're moving in the right direction on. I want to move in the, in the right direction. Uh, you've done some work on uh, pressure ulcers. Uh, as it results to uh, hospital discharges. Uh, that's something that's, uh, that's near and dear to me personally, but it's also near and dear uh, to uh, me as a budget uh, uh, hawk because uh, we throw away a lot of money on preventable uh, 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 hospital-acquired uh, illnesses. Uh, when, this, uh, when the Appropriations Committee last uh, cycle asked HHS to go back and look at pressure ulcers uh, to see uh, if we were uh, doing all that we could uh, do, you came back with a, with a new model that uh, based uh, uh, on a, on a ten factor uh, scale, uh, use pressure ulcers as one of those to say we can uh, do better than the fifty eight percent increase in pressure ulcer uh, discharges and and uh, and do better down the road. We've got a lot of great uh, groups. One is in my uh, district, uh, uh, Monlica, uh, that has an amazing uh, technology that uh, that we can do more. Uh, not do more with less, but do more and prevent more bad outcomes, and thus we end up spending less. Uh, the entire Pressure Ulcer Association is is working along those lines, and you all have, uh, well, I would say moved with the efficiency one would expect from a government agency. Uh, that you can uh, take that as you see uh, see fit. Uh, but uh, there is uh, there's uh, some good work that's happening there. There's more good work that can be done. But I want to thank you for that. Also want to put on your radar screen. I know you've been busy preparing for this hearing. The House, uh, uh, the General Assembly in Georgia. Uh, yesterday passed uh, a bill uh, at, that will give our governor permission to ask for two waivers. Uh, one's an Affordable Care Act uh, waiver, another is a, is a Medicaid waiver. Uh, I listened to Mr. Peters as he challenged uh, your numbers, talking about all the good work that California does. I have no doubt that California is doing, doing good work, and I have no doubt that the failures that you observed uh, uh, in, in the case of, 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 of a $200,000 program only signing up one individual, uh, I have no doubt about the, the, the accuracy of that either. Um, we can do better in Georgia. No offense uh, to the, to the, the federal uh, laws and statutes, uh, regulations that are on the books. Uh, we just have more experience in rural Georgia than you do. We have more experience in metropolitan Atlanta uh, than you do. And so when those uh, waiver proposals come forward, I just want to encourage you to, to look favorably upon those. Um, there are limited resources. Can you tell me a little bit about the resources dedicated to approving those waivers and whether or not we'll be able to, I know so many are coming across your desk, will we be able to, to uh, proceed on those expeditiously? Uh, I would say that you know we very much look forward to if Governor Kemp brings the uh, proposal forward to us. We very much look forward to engaging with him. Uh, we know that the states and localities know a lot more about their unique needs uh, than we do here in Washington. Uh, so uh, we know that they're going to be in the best position to know the unique needs of their populations there. So uh, I mean, I would say we we. We applaud State for bringing creative proposals forward to us, so we're going to look forward to engaging with him if he brings the, 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 it forward after the passage of the bill. The, I don't see my timer. Oh, there I am up on the wall. Let me, let me ask that, uh, re-ask re that specifically. When we get to, to the appropriation cycle, folks will take money out of administrative accounts and put them into things that, that feel better, like NIH funding, like CDC funding, uh, uh, and so on. Are, are, do, are we at risk? underfunding the administrative account at HHS of not seeing those applications acted on as quickly as we'd all like to see them acted on? I, I think that we, that, that the, the administrator at CMS is going to focus what she needs to focus on having a swift analysis and resolution of whatever we have, whatever is brought forward by Governor Kemp or anyone else uh, creatively in the 1115 space. They, I don't know if you've been down to the CDC uh, uh, recently. Uh, it's, uh, it's always a good excuse to go, uh, uh, go to Atlanta. Security is one of the things that uh, troubles me. We spend a lot of money on science, but we don't spend as much money on security. Uh, you're in a difficult uh, space. Uh, uh, health is the, is the focus, but uh, bad security leads to bad health outcomes uh, from time uh, to time. Is that an issue that uh, uh, rises to, the, uh, to your uh, C-suite level? Oh particularly cybersecurity, is an issue that we take very seriously. We deal a lot with data, with science, with, the, with new ideas, with new science uh, and intellectual property. And so cybersecurity is a big issue, uh, both for Americans to make sure that their health data is kept secure, uh, for researchers. So we've actually stood up uh, a health sector coordination, cybersecurity coordination center at HHS uh, that 
is going to help facilitate uh, maintaining uh, in security over uh, a lot of the information that Americans entrust uh, to their doctors, to the healthcare system, and to HHS. Mr. Chairman, as I look at the pictures on the wall, I see that only Mr. Panetta was brave enough to leave Congress and go and serve in the administration <laughs> afterwards. So thank you, uh, Mr. Hargan, for what you're doing. Clearly, it's not something that, uh, that we choose to do. I yield back.